Well, howdy everybody. Uh, today we're near Gatlinburg at Laurel Falls. I know we've got other videos of Laurel Falls. That's kind of just been this running joke between me and Deanne. <laughs> uh, the first one was Laurel uh, Run. Laurel Run. Yeah. In near Churchill for their waterfall, and then the Laurel Falls in Hampton up past Elizabeth. And so now we're doing this one in Gatlinburg. It's been on our list to do all of last year, and we're finally now getting to it. Last year it was yeah. horribly <laughs> crowded every time we got here, but today we left. It was still pretty dark outside just to be down here, and we've gotten here. It's uh, it's before eight now, so we're getting ready to get started. And, uh, and it's, the parking lot is already getting filling up. So. Yeah. <laughs> so we're ready to end. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, uh, just we're about three or four minutes in. The trail is really nice so far. It's paved most of it. I mean, it's not great smooth pavement. I mean, you know, but it, it's pretty nice, well made uh, so far. So, uh, no complaints yet, other than you know, it's a decent climb right off the beginning, but we've seen much worse lately. So, what do you think, Dan, so far? Yeah, not bad. Not bad so far? So yeah. We'll, we'll keep going. Okay. trail so far is super super easy uh we brought her she brought her hiking poles just in case and i got my of course my big wooden stick but the, uh they're not needed for any of this walking really the only reason i can see i'm me needing my big wooden stick is if i get a hold of something that needs a big beating with a big wooden stick and hopefully we won't have any kind of problems like that <laughs> hope not <laughs> Again, even though it's somewhat of an incline, your hiking poles are not not really needed here. Um, do a little bit of walk. I don't want to get too much camera jiggle. It kind of makes me sick when other people do that. I'm trying to watch video. Looks like there's another curve here and a somewhat steeper incline coming up. Yeah, a little bit steeper. Not not too bad. Anyway. Here we are going again. Another uphill and to the left. And quite a bit of them. Still don't really hear any water yet. Which is kind of weird. People veered off in different things down in there. <clears throat> well, everybody, we have on all of our trips a visual of our first bear. Now, he's about 
oh, 50 feet away, maybe not that far, maybe 40. So we're just trying to be loud, just and vocal enough to let him know we're here and we are staying out of his happy little territory. And uh, I do have my bear spray just in case, even though we plan on just leaving him alone. He doesn't look as big as some I've seen on TV, but I don't care. He's a lot more than I am. Looks like he's just munching out on some breakfast uh, salad. <clears throat> and he did hear us and look at me, so he knows we're here, but he doesn't seem to care. So we're gonna hang back here for a little bit and just see uh, if we need to go backwards or what we need to do, because uh, I don't have any desire to turn into bear poo tomorrow. Okay. After 1.3 miles and one interesting younger bear encounter, not a cub, but younger bear encounter, uh, which was fine. That was that was exciting. Uh, we finally made it to the falls here. The end's getting ahead a little bit. And uh, you can hear the water running pretty good. Sorry for the jerky camera, which is what we got. Good morning. Good morning. Oh wow. Okay. Now the trail was almost 100% paved. I'll probably talk about this again at the end. Uh, there was some broken pavement here and there. Totally terrible angle for me to get to. I'll get a different one.
<laughs> okay, everybody. Uh, we just got back to the car, and let me tell you, <laughs> we are, uh, is Stoke still a word? I have no idea. We're old and we don't care. Uh, we were going on the way to Laurel Falls here in Gatlinburg. Uh, I got up just a little bit ahead of Deanne, <laughs> and I was waiting for her to get her shot as she was following me. I come around the corner, and about 50 feet away, I just saw black. And I'm, uh oh, bear. We finally saw a bear. Uh, for all people that would fuss and yell about what we did, we stopped and let the bear know we were there. We stayed at least you know, like 50 to 100 feet back. Um, it was a younger bear, not a cub, because we would be scared of mama. But it, the, some other people come up behind us. We all stopped. There was like a group of six of us. Uh, and then some rangers came up. We were all just filming the bear. Then the ranger scared the bear off, and he went on his happy way, and there was no problems with anybody. But it, you know, we'd been hoping to see one from a safe distance, and we did. And it wasn't a really big bear, and it wasn't a tiny bear, and we didn't bother it. We were just there filming. We, he smelled us, he could see us, and he knew we were there, and we were talking loud enough that he could hear us. Uh, but it was cool. It's uh, <laughs> not as cool as the elk videos in Cherokee, but it was cool because it was a bear. Yay! And Deanna will have some video here for y'all yeah. to see. So until next time, see y'all. <laughs>